Welcome back to another BTD6 video. I'm your host, Raxor. Thanks for joining me on our One Tower Test Series. And today, we are doing none other than my favorite, a glue. Um, glue is very interesting. I think glue actually surprisingly can go very far. Um, and for one reason, um, it's because glue strike and glue storm can actually see camo. So that actually helps with all the camos. Um, I don't think it helps with DDTs though. So I think we'll probably die at 90 give or take most likely, but balloon solver, like I'll get glue strike and then maybe glue storm. And then I'm going to head straight for solver. Uh, super glue is like nice, but again, glue doesn't overlap in this game, unfortunately. So, um, I wonder if that's something they'll consider to do in the future, but I guess for now we'll just have to wait and see whatever Ninja Kiwi decides for the future. But anyways, let's see how far glue can go on its own. I'll see you when it starts to fail. I think and you know where this is probably going but again as I mentioned um, somehow got down to one life that's crazy <clears throat> I can afford each of the glues they're all great um, only problem is that unfortunately uh, he doesn't do enough damage quick enough to the DDT so <clears throat> this is probably the end here because unfortunately balloon solver can't see them so uh, it is what it is though for what is worth balloon solver is just super OP Honestly, I've seen a few 2 million pops challenges with it, and I, c I can understand why it's so strong for for the price too. Honestly, it's only, how much? 18k, I think? Yeah, so anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and let me know what you guys want to see for the next tower. Although, I'm probably just going to go in order, so I don't know why I asked you that. But anyways, please leave a like, a comment, and a subscribe, and I will see you all in the next video.